I'm Dustin King. I'm a postdoc uh, in the chemical biology group of Professor David Vicadlo at Simon Fraser University. CLS and in particular the CMCF beam lines of the macromolecular crystallography facility there has just been key in introducing me to what a synchrotron is, how it can be used. CO2 is this widespread biological gas that actually triggers very important physiological functions within organisms from all kingdoms on the tree of life. It's used by the mosquito to seek out unsuspecting prey. Uh, in humans, there's actually a mechanism within our central brain stem that actually uses CO2 to control our rate and depth of breathing. Well, certain bacteria like Bacillus anthracis, the bacteria that causes anthrax, if you actually put that bacteria within a human in the presence of these high CO2 concentrations, it know, it's known that that actually boosts the expression of these virulence factors that help the bacteria to grow and evade our immune system, for example. So it's possible that if we gain this better understanding of how carbon dioxide actually influences the production of these virulence factors, it may provide an opportunity for us to actually therapeutically block those pathways. Our lab is really interested in the possibility of certain protein binding sites being directly modified by carbon dioxide and the implications that that may have. It actually causes these pathways to suppress the inflammatory response, which is super important in humans because we have all these really important uh, inflammatory disorders that are really tough to control. So it's possible in the future that if we understand how carbon dioxide suppresses those pathways, once again, we might be able to intervene for therapeutic benefit. Another area not specific to human health, but certainly to the well-being of humans, is in the area of biotechnology and agriculture, where plants and photosynthetic organisms actually use carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as their main carbon source to build these simple sugars that allow the plant to actually grow and sustain its, its, its life cycle. And CLS is absolutely a foundation of our research. It's completely uh, essential in the sense that it gives us this knowledge about the three-dimensional arrangement of atoms and how CO2 binds to proteins which is really a central pillar of the molecular mechanisms through which CO2 affects biological systems. So we really value the ability to use the synchrotron and it's super key to our research.